Hey there, everybody. We're on the dad cam, just for this little bit, because I thought it'd be fun. Anyway, today we are going to try and recreate a 16 millimeter film emulation, and I don't know if I'm gonna do a very good job at it, but it's a fun little experiment, and it could be a neat video. A little backstory, uh, last week I decided I was gonna quit drinking, and then I decided I was gonna learn to play the piano to fill that hole, and so now I'm like, how can I implement the piano in an interesting way in the video, and that got me thinking about this William, this guy who does film photography videos, but the videos about the film photography are like so beautiful. I'm like, how can I make my videos look like that? It would let me down a rabbit hole of like 16 millimeter, and basically, I'm just gonna create a look, uh, and you're gonna join me. So the first thing that I had to do was shoot the actual footage. Now to do this, I shot at two different ISOs, the 12800 and then the 640. Those are the two native ISOs of the Sony a7S III. And for both of those, I exposed properly, underexposed and overexposed to see which one would look the best after a good color grade. And I kind of knew which one I was going to like the most going into this, so I wasn't very scientific. I did some research into the show Atlanta and that show they underexposed by a lot and then lift it up in post and it creates this like noisy sort of faded look. And that's what I ended up going with here. Now before I get to the film grain test, I think it's important to talk at least a little bit about inner frame compression. One of the ways that YouTube keeps video files small, since there's like 24 hours worth of content uploaded every minute to YouTube, is with compression. And regular compression is they basically just group pixels together and that's why you sort of see on like older videos, like just blocks instead of like nice detail, and that's compression. But another thing that YouTube does is inter-frame compression. And so basically, in a still image like this, anything that doesn't change from frame to frame, it just retains that information. So it doesn't have to account for that information, which makes the file smaller, right? So like this painting hasn't changed, so it's just been the same piece of information the whole time. But when you introduce film grain to the image, suddenly every single pixel is changing every single frame and it just absolutely obliterates the image and I don't think I did a very good job of explaining it but Tom Scott has a really really good video about it and I will link to it in the description if that's something you want to better understand. So maybe you're still wondering Zach what does that even mean? Well basically it means that I had to go in and try different grain intensities and grain sizes to see how they would look under YouTube's compression and so since you're watching this on YouTube you are seeing live what the compression is doing you don't get to see unfortunately what it looks like before it is uploaded but basically just know that there are different grain sizes and also know that there's white and black dust added and those are different than the grains uh, but for all intents and purposes they add, just add to the grain effect. And after all these tests I decided that I thought grain A was the one that looked the best and so that's the one that I continue to use going forward. And so our final result ended up looking pretty much exactly like what I imagined it to look like. Uh, the only thing is that it took forever to render these, so I don't know exactly how practical it is, but I'm very pleased with the way that they turned out. So thanks everybody for tuning in to this short little experimental video. I hope you got something useful out of it. Uh, one other thing, if you're watching this on a Mac or an Apple product, the colors are all washed out, and if you want to understand why, it's the most frustrating thing. I'll link to that video in the description as well. It's so stupid. Anyways, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.